Hello, hello, Felipe here, and today I'm going to show you how you can transform a sketch into a render for your project. So we are going to use some free softwares to get this sketch that you have drawn somewhere and transform this into a render and add detail to it and then transform that into a video if you want to. Okay, so let's proceed. So this will be my image. This is a, a sketch. Let's say I have sketched this somewhere or, or you can bring any draw you, you want to. And for this, we are going to use Confi AI that I showed you on the previous class. So Confi AI is the software that you have already installed on your, uh, your folder, right? So you have Confi AI Windows Portable and you have these two options to run. I'm going to use NVIDIA GPU. So it's going to open the software here. It's going to take some time to open this. And when it opens, it's going to appear the, the screen, uh, the dashboard of Confi UI that we are going to make all the configurations. It's a free software that is going to run on your computer to generate these renderings. So let's wait some moments. Okay, processing. Okay, so here we have Confi UI. This is the, the overall dashboard. So. We have this checkpoints that you saw on the previous class that you can download this on CBD AI. I have some of this already installed. We have the prompt, the thing that we want to add here. We have the key sampler to provide the final image. We have the negative prompt, right, to generate the uh, things that we don't want, for example, text and watermarks. So you can add this to, to remove this on, on the main prompt and also you have right uh, as I said before the key center we are going to set some things here uh, uh, in some moments the decoder and the save image where the image is going to appear when we want to generate an image is QE prompt right and here we have the resolution of the image that we want to but since we want to use a sketch we are going to remove this thing here because this is to generate uh, a random prompt image such as me journey for example so I will remove this. We can just press down on this and I can add a new node. Let me just zoom here for you to see a node and it's called image, right? Image and load image. So click on load image here. I have something already set and I will click on upload and I will get the image that I want to add here. Let me just find. Yeah, so this is the sketch that we want to generate and transform on the save image file here. So, of course, we need to connect with something here to generate the, the prompt, right? So we are going to add another node, it's called VAE encode. So you go to latent, VAE encode, right? So click on this, and now you need to just uh, connect the dots, right, to, to make that possible on the software. So here you can see that we have a blue dot, a blue dot, so, image is going to pixels and latent is going to latent image here. So you can see the, the same colors. So this is the process. And also we are going to get this VAE on this VAE here. So now we have everything connected and it's simple like this, just this connections is going to make that work. Then we can just uh, use, we are going to change a little here to improve the prompt. So this is the best setting that I have learned. So value 30, so I'm adding 30 here. I'm going to use uh, this, this DPMPP 3M SDE GPU. Uh, the scheduler is going to be Keras. So this is how it's going to be. Then we need to set the denoise. And here you can see the prompts that I have already generated, right? So. Of course, I tested this before. And the denoise, the smallest, the mo most respect with the original image we are going to have. So, and the weight of the prompt is going to decrease as well. So for example, I added the prompt, right? And we, we didn't write the prompt yet. We're going to write the prompt here, right? Still write the prompt, but we're just, we are making the, the first settings here. 
And here you can see that with 0.2, we're going to have almost the same Im image that we were presenting the sketch. Then we share, uh, show 0.3, almost the same, 0.4, almost the same, but we can see little colors here. And here we can see 0.5 is going to change more, right? We, we are seeing more of this, it's going to, uh, it's becoming more si similar, right, with the, with, uh, with the rendering. And 0 0.6, here on this, on for this image is the best possibility for this prompt. But depending on the image that you are going to generate, in my experience, you're going to be around 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. So you need to change between those, testing each image to find the best uh, resolution for you. Let's say you, you develop lots of sketches. So you have your your way to draw this and you are going to find the best denoise value for you. But here I can see that is around 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. So I'm going to use here 0 0.55. So I added here 0 0.55 and I'm going to add here, for example, a realistic, um, let's say a living room realism natural light so you add everything that you want here on the prompt i already showed on the workshops the best prompt solution that i have that which i bring the image that i like and i uh, generate the the overall possibilities of the the main uh of the main uh let's say the main ideas that we can have we can have the details we can add many possibilities considering an image and providing this this root of the fantastic possibilities that you can have. But I'm going to just add a simple prompt here. And the last thing that we want to add is the checkpoint. So I'm going to add here the epic realism. So adding this, and we are just going to run the prompt. And here you can see that we have a resolution on this image. And the image that we are going to generate is going to be the same resolution that we have here. So we are not going to set the resolution. It's going to be the same, and then we are going to see the result here. And then we are going to start to see an evolution here on the key sampler. We're going to see green here, that here, the green, and we are seeing that now we are, we are really uh, creating something here. You can see that it's processing. So let's wait some time to see what we will have so here is the DAD code. Here is the save image. Of course, I was in front of the, on the camera here you can see, but it's not that important. And let's wait for the processing time. Of course, depending on your computer, it's going to be faster or you will take more time to generate this. Important to say, uh, sometimes you won't have a NVIDIA uh, GPU so you can run by your CPU. So this is something that you can use. And just to remind you again, Canva UI, models, checkpoints, this is where you add your checkpoints here, okay? So this is uh, something important for you to know. Okay, so now we pass it here, and here we have our image. So here we can see that we made a great transition between realism, right, and the sketch. Sketch and realism. But we didn't have colors, right? We, what we are missing here, we are missing the colors, we are missing maybe, let's see, we have the plants here, plants are nice. We have a good amount of natural light that we are seeing since we added a natural light. What could we add here to improve this image? So let's add, for example, uh, natural colors. We could add natural colors. We could add maybe beach walls. We could add a blue sky. So these are things that we could add. I like the details that we had here. We have something strange here. Maybe we could, let's see on the sketch, maybe we could, yeah, decrease a little more the denoise. Let's add something like 52 here to decrease the denoise and make it more, a little more precise considering the model. So let's add here a living room with beach walls, blue sky, on the on the windows i will remove the natural light and add this realism and i think this is, is going to to provide a better prompt already let's try this again so i will just press on q prompt here once again so it's going to process let's wait some more 
it's important to understand it. When you are using AI, you need to change the to change the prompts. You need to understand the result and change a little bit the prompt to try to find better results. And maybe we, we won't find it here. Let's wait a little more to see what we're going to have. Okay, so now we have our final image. We can see that now we have this beach uh, walls. Maybe we could add a wooden floor, a more, uh, let's say, red wood floor. Or we could have the, the blue sky in the background. So I think it's a nice result what we had here. So, okay, let's say we are satisfied. Of course, we could uh, improve a little more maybe, but let's use this. So I'm going to save the image as a PNG file. And then I'm going to use a software here called Crea.ai. This software is fantastic in my opinion. And you create your login, it's very straightforward and you can enhance. So we are going to use this thing called enhance image. I'm going to just drag this image. So let's find the image here. And we will have a free option and a paid option. Of course, the paid option, we're going to have better results, but the free option is already fantastic. So you can use this free option without any issues and it's going to be great. So let's wait a little more. It's going to upload in the image. Okay, so I have this uploaded image and then you can enhance the image by two times. Of course, by paying you can use four or eight times and you can use some settings as well. You can add a prompt here to improve the, the, the overall living room. But let's do as it is. You can test this if you want to, but let's use, and of course to, to use this, uh, sometimes you need to pay depending on the, the resolution, but let's just enhance as it is. So I will just click and it's going to take some minutes to process. Okay, so here uh, on the left side we have the image that we have generated and on the right side the image that we had improved by using Crea AI. So we can see here, right, we have more details. So it improved the details. It tries to, to get better results on the details. So here we can see the couch, uh, less details. Here we have more details. We can see that we have even more details on natural light. I like this image as well, but here we can see the way that we have more detail on the image. So it's something that you can use. It's, uh, Crea is fantastic, for example, for urban environments that you want to add more detail, more people, more cars passing by. But since we are using here for interior design, this is the result. Okay, so let's say uh, you enjoy this. You can, of course, uh, save the image. You click on download here on the left side, on the right side. And I'm going to save this enhanced image. And now we can use another software to generate a video, for example, called Pika Labs. So Pika Labs is a software that you can use on Discord. So we can add here Discord channel. You can click here and you are going to join this channel on Discord. So you're just going to, to click and accept and it's going to appear as a screen. And here you have the generation, right, prompts that you can use. These are public, so these are the free ones that you can use. Okay, so we are on this version of Pika Labs here, and we can just add animate. I click on animate, I drag the image here, so we enhance the image, and I click here once again on one, on one more, click on the prompt, and I write, for example, here, camera, zoom in. And we can add also motion. So motion one, this is the velocity, right? So camera zoom in, camera zoom out, I could add here, for example, camera zoom out, or we could add rotate, right? So camera, so always start with the camera, right? Camera zoom in, camera zoom out, camera pen up, down, left, right, and rotate, camera rotate as well. So camera rotate clockwise and anti-clockwise. So you can do this, but I will, I will use camera zoom in and motion one until four. So you, if you want more velocity four, I will add one and I think for, for me it's fine this one here and let's generate this. So you can see that we have a line here of many things that people are generating here, some crazy things going on. And this is what people generates, a Darth Vader here with a cart or something, driving a cart in the, for the galaxy, I don't know. 
and we are on the line so we need to wait a little more here but I will just show you what the paid version of Pika Labs has also right so here is what I have generated with Pika Labs already you just drag the image and you click for example camera zoom in the same I did with pressing the plus button and motion one is here so you don't need to type you just do what you want by uh, by clicking so it's simpler and you can describe the story once again but since it's architecture it doesn't have a story it's just the image and also we have the option here on the PD version to add more seconds and to upscale this you don't have on the free version but the free version is is nice on on Pika Labs. so and also we have a watermark on the free version so here is the image that I have generated on the paid version you pay ten dollars for lots of credits it's nice I'm not making any propaganda here but I'm using because I generate lots of presentations I'm developing a presentation for a live event so I wanted to to bring some some ideas on video so for me it was nice but if you are generating one or two images I, I don't think it's not something that important for you so here we have the watermark and here is the image so here we can see the the image that we have generated only three seconds this is the the standard on the paid version is three seconds as well you can add more seconds on the paid version but you spend credits generating the first and then if you want to add more seconds you spend more credit credits and to upscale you spend even more credit so this is something that you need to choose but this is the image so here is the final result guys so we started with the with, with this little journey of getting the sketch that you have drawn somewhere and transforming this let me just find the sketch here the sketch is here right so we started by using this sketch and transforming into something very exciting that is a rendered image and a video and i hope you have enjoyed this class guys i will be providing new classes over the future so stay tuned because there are of course also uh, lots of updates on this so if uh wait for some updates on this uh possibilities as well thank you so much and have a great day everyone